Many massive franchises have gone beyond the confines of their films and established expanded universes, where the canon continues in the form of a television series, books, games, or even promotional material. Jurassic is no exception to this, of course, as it has expanded their story throughout all of this media, despite many of their games and television series not really having a lasting impact or any bearing on the main continuity of the films. Today, we will be discussing a special experience that fans were able to experience some time ago, one that breaches the gap between fiction and reality in the form of an amusement park. One that let John Hammond's dream finally come to fruition. One that let park goers feel like they had stepped foot in Jurassic Park. Today, we're going to take a look back at the legacy of Jurassic Park Orlando, aka Jurassic Park Isla Aventura, a theme park experience from Islands of Adventure that only Universal Studios Orlando can bring you. This video will be produced in slightly different manner to our average lore videos. Everything mentioned in this video will only be taken from sources directly related to Islands of Adventure lore. We felt as though it was important to show the world the true story of Isla Aventura, as one may have experienced it from its opening in 1999 to the early 2010s. Before the closure of the particularly infamous attraction, as well as the inclusion of more Jurassic World-centric attractions and aesthetics. A second video will be made alongside this one, that will be more in line with our regular lore videos, and include lore from external sources, as well as a great deal of headcanon in order to fill those gene gaps. Following the Isla Nublar incident in 1989, a film was produced by author Michael Crichton and Steven Spielberg surrounding the incident's events. However, the film was far from accurate and painted Engine in a bad light, which eventually led to security concerns upon the opening and operation of Jurassic Park Orlando. There was a supposed attempt to relocate species from Isla Sorna for the creation of the new park, but Engine claims that both Isla Nublar and Isla Sorna were both abandoned following the incident. In actuality, Isla Sorna was kept as a wildlife preserve for the dinosaurs still located there, and many dinosaurs would continue to be bred for research purposes. Unfortunately, Isla Nublar did not have such a happy ending as it was a firebomb following the 1989 incident. Following the destruction of Isla Nublar, Hammond set his sights on the creation of a new park in Orlando, and the construction of Jurassic Park on Isla Aventura began very soon after. Isla Aventura opened to the public in 1999 with 25 species spread across the island in many different locations and boasted an impressive population count of approximately 350 individual animals. Of the 25 species on display, we only know of a handful which were spread across the island throughout the different attractions. Of these species, we know that Isla Aventura housed the following. Tyrannosaurus rex Dilophosaurus Velociraptor Compsognathus Triceratops Stegosaurus Parasaurolophus Ultrasaurus, Cetacosaurus, Gallimimus, Ankylosaurus, Apatosaurus, Pteranodon, and Spinosaurus. Note that if park goers were to ask staff members about Alamosaurus, they would have mentioned that it was not present on Aventura, but instead on the Isla Sorna Preserve. We would like to also note that images of the following species were seen at the park 
However, it does not necessarily mean that they were part of the main species count. Brachiosaurus Carnotaurus Hadrosaurus, but shown as a Parasaurolophus, and Plesiosaur. Isla Aventura featured four main attractions. The Jurassic Park River Adventure, a thrilling water rapids ride that allowed guests to safely travel across the island in a guided boat tour to get a close and personal look at the island's many dinosaurs. The Jeep Safari. Like its Isla Nublar predecessor, guests would pile into jeeps and take a guided tour and observe Isla Aventura's magnificent animals. The Triceratops Encounter. Located directly next to the Discovery Center, guests would be able to visit a barn housing one of the island's Triceratops. Once inside, they would have an intimate meet and greet with the gentle giant as veterinarians would show how they give treatment for their animals. The Helicopter Tours Guests embarked on a helicopter ride that gave them a pterosaur's eye view of the entire park and the islands. For younger park goers, Isla Aventura was home to a large playground called Camp Jurassic. It featured multiple playground attractions such as slides and rope bridges where children could play safely and securely. Throughout the camp, there were a series of amber mines which interconnected the entire camp through a series of tunnels and caverns. The park also featured a small kiddie ride called Pteranodon Flyers, a monorail-like attraction for children and parents that they, so they could soar across the park. Camp Jurassic was actually designed by none other than John Hammond's grandchildren, Lex and Tim Murphy. The River Adventure was a water rapids ride where guests would come face to face with dozens of the park's most popular prehistoric animals. After passing through the gates, the boat's first stop is the Ultrasaur Lagoon, where guests come face to face with the massive Ultrasaurus altothorax. After passing through the Ultrasaur Lagoon, guests will find themselves at the Mesozoic Marsh, the home to a wide variety of ceratopsian dinosaurs, such as the primitive Cetacosaurus, as well as the famous Triceratops. Due to the skittish nature of the Cetacosaurus, they were often relocated to different sections of the ride until they ultimately found themselves home inside the Ultrasaur Lagoon. After passing through the caverns and a waterfall, guests will enter Stegosaurus Springs, where a population of large Stegosaurus graze on the plants at the water's edge of the geothermal river. After leaving the Stegosaur Springs, boats will be headed towards the Hadrosaur Cove, a large inlet area home to many species of Hadrosaur, such as Parasaurolophus. After navigating through the Hadrosaur Cove, guests will head toward the Pteranodon Highlands, the home of the park's flying inhabitants. After a thrilling encounter with the winged reptiles, guests will reach the Raptor Ridge, behind the safety of electric fences. Guests will be able to watch the infamous Velociraptors run at high speeds. Finally, guests will see the showstopper of the entire park and the river adventure, Tyrannosaurus Rex. As the ruler of T-Rex Ridge, our Tyrannosaurus is a marvel that will mystify as well as terrify guests of all ages. Aside from the dinosaurs, Isla Aventura includes many prehistoric themed restaurants and attractions. The Discovery Center is the crown jewel of Jurassic Park and features many kid-friendly attractions and games for guests of all ages. For guests willing to test their knowledge on dinosaurs, the Visitor Center has You Bet Jurassic, a quiz game where competing guests can challenge each other's knowledge on the prehistoric past. For children who wish to view what it would be like to experience the Mesozoic Era, the Visitor Center featured a small playground-like area called Biasaur, which featured massive statues of the famous Tyrannosaurus Rex and Brontosaurus. 
to witness the discovery of the dinosaurs. The visitor center includes a massive slab of rock featuring many fossils of dinosaurs from across the Mesozoic eras, as well as the fossilized skeletons of the Tyrannosaurus rex and massive Titanosaur Alamosaurus, all of which were brought over from the original visitor center at Jurassic Park on Isla Nublar. To learn about the miracle of cloning dinosaurs, guests can learn about genetic engineering in the Discovery Center's gene sequencing and nursery stations. In the gene sequencing station, you can create your own dinosaur by infusing your own DNA into the genetic codes of any of the species InGen has available. The gene sequencing station is in no way real and does not allow you to actually create your own dinosaurs and certainly does not mix your DNA with that of any of the resurrected species that InGen has brought back from extinction. This is merely for entertainment purposes only. So sit back and relax. Please do not send any hate mail to InGen or any of InGen's affiliate companies. And finally, the nursery station allows children and grown-ups alike to witness the birth of live dinosaurs and even handle real-life dinosaur eggs. The dinosaur eggs are manufactured plastic shell created by Mylapore Inc. and used by InGen to raise their dinosaurs without producing natural waste. If any child was lucky enough, they would be able to name one of the hatchlings as well as receive an official birth certificate for the named animal. Particularly attentive listeners can listen closely to the announcements where staff within the Discovery Center call upon different park workers to head to different posts across the island. Some of these workers include Dr. Sarah Harding, Dr. Martin Gutierrez, Dr. Jerry Harding, and even Ellie Sattler. What options do guests have if they're feeling a little hungry? Well, Isla Aventura has various dining options for you to choose from. First, let's start off with the quick service option located inside the Discovery Center called Burger Digs. Located just steps away from Jurassic Park's Discovery Center, this quick service cafe is where our paleontologists take a break from unearthing fossils and dig into more flavorful finds. Choose from juicy burgers, chicken sandwiches, or even chicken tenders and add-on sides like fries and onion rings. Our next dining option is going to be located a little bit down the road from the Discovery Center called Pizza Predatoria. Located near the Triceratops Encounter in Jurassic Park, this Italian eatery is the perfect pit stop between adventures. Satisfy even the most colossal cravings with fresh baked pizzas, delicious meatball subs, and a chicken Caesar salad. Take your grub to go or sip on Icy in the shaded seating area before you jump back into the jungle. If guests are looking for something cold and fresh to quench their thirst, they can check out the watering hole. You'll never know who you'll run into at the watering hole, where ice-cold refreshments are in high demand, from beer, wine, and frozen cocktails to fountain drinks and lemonade. This stand is here to hydrate. Kick back under an umbrella and enjoy a moment at this jungle hut oasis. And now, let's take a stroll down to the river's edge and visit Thunder River Falls, Isla Aventura's fine dining establishment. Ravenous hunger doesn't stand a chance. Here, there's a feast awaiting every adventurer. Choose from a mouth-watering array of rotisserie chicken, barbecue ribs, roasted pernell, rice balls, salads, and more. Relax in the cool indoor room, or watch daring riders get drenched on Jurassic Park's river adventure right outside. Despite this park being John Hammond's most successful attempt at opening his theme park, Isla Aventura would eventually suffer the same fate as its predecessor on Isla Nublar. On a seemingly normal day, a group of park guests embarked on the ride that they would never forget. During the River Adventure Tour, a parasaur mistakenly knocked one of the boats off course and towards the raptor containment area in the middle of a dinosaur escape. As Jurassic Park's animal control scrambles to save the guests, they travel through the containment area and into the environmental systems building 
where they encounter a handful of dangerous carnivores that have escaped from their paddocks and are wrecking havoc. Some of the dinosaurs these guests have encountered included copies, spitting Dilophosaurus, ambushing raptors, and the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex herself. Fortunately, the guests managed to escape relatively unscathed. This was the true history and lore of Isla Aventura, a park and story which engrossed fans and guests at Universal Studios alike in the world of Jurassic Park. At its opening in 1999, Jurassic Park was among one of the many immersive themed areas that offered an experience akin to that of Star Wars' Galaxy's Edge. It was innovative just like the movie that preceded it, however, it was so ahead of its time. The attractions were difficult and expensive to maintain, and one such attraction, the immersive and awe-inspiring Triceratops Encounter, was eventually shut down. Interest in Jurassic Park waned, and its own dedicated expansion land around its section of the park was eventually used for other attractions, such as Skull Island, Reign of Kong, and Hogsmeade for the impressive Harry Potter-themed area. Sadly, Isla Aventura's days seem to be numbered. With the advent of the new films, Universal introduced a new Jurassic World-themed roller coaster called the Velocicoaster. The coaster offers an exciting and heart-stopping experience that lets guests feel like they are running for their lives from the deadly jaws of Owen's Ebris Raptors. Universal has also opened a successor to the Triceratops Encounter in the form of the Raptor Encounter. This attraction allows guests to interact with a live Velociraptor alongside its Wrangler. Despite these wonderful and exciting new changes to the park, the new Jurassic World and old Jurassic Park aesthetics clash and somewhat break the wonderful immersion that the park once offered. In one section of the park, guests will find themselves on Isla Aventura, the place where Hammond finally achieved his dream. But a few paces away, Guests will find themselves on Isla Nublar, the technological marvel that boasts the newly built Jurassic World. With the Hollywood Park fully converted to Jurassic World, unfortunately it just seems like it's only a matter of time before the Florida Park gets its own Jurassic World makeover. This is why we here at the Evermind felt it was important to present Isla Aventura at the peak of its operations. Unfortunately, the story of Isla Aventura is slowly becoming lost, and even doing the research for this video proved so difficult as we had to comb through hours of YouTube videos of family vacations, ride POVs, ride histories, and we even went as far as to interview Universal Park staff to get the full story. Alas, despite all that we have found, there are still many mysteries of Isla Aventura that have yet to be found and with each passing day, they are becoming harder and harder to find. While we may never have the complete story to this wonderful moment in Jurassic history, we can still appreciate everything we do know and enjoy the novelty it offered. Isla Aventura will always hold a special place in the hearts of the fans that got to know and learn it. As a relic of a bygone era, it is important that we find a way to preserve its legacy for present and future fans to enjoy. This has been Thylacine from the Emmermine, and thank you for taking the time of watching. Time, the ever-flowing river. Come with us now to a time before man, when the river flowed through a newborn world, and giants walked the earth. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Hey, Ember Miners! Thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them.